Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we are going to solve this given trigonometric equation, 3 power 2 sine of x whole square plus 3 power 2 cosine of x whole square equals to 30. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this exponent 2 sine of x whole square and here I have copied it down and this could be simplified to 2 square times sine square and then 2 square is same as 4 so we got 4 sine square of x and now let's focus on this another exponent 2 cosine of x whole square and here I have copied it down and this could be simplified to 4 cosine square of x so therefore our this equation is simply going to become 3 power I'm going to replace this by this one so I can write 4 sine square of x and then plus 3 power I'm going to replace this exponent by this one so that's going to be a 4 cosine square of x equals to 30 on the right hand side and now let's recall this power rule by using this power rule on this exponents we can write this one 3 power 4 and then whole power sine square of x plus likewise I can write this one 3 power 4 power cosine square of x equals to 30 and now let's focus on this part 3 power 4 over here and 3 power over here as well and we know that 3 power 4 is equal to 81 so therefore our this equation is going to become 81 power sine square of x and now let's recall this famous trigonometric identity sine square of x plus cosine square of x is always equal to 1 now let's move this sine square of x on the right hand side so that is going to give us cosine square of x equal to 1 minus sine square of x now I'm going to replace this cosine square of x by this part 1 minus sine square of x therefore our this equation is going to become 81 sine square of x plus 81 power I'm going to replace this one by 1 minus sine square of x equals to 30 on the right hand side now let's focus on this term 81 power 1 minus sine square of x and here I have copied it down and let's go ahead and simplify it now if we use the rules of exponent we can write 81 power 1 times 81 power negative sine square of x so therefore this has been simplified to this so therefore this equation could be written as 81 power sine square of x plus 81 divided by 81 power sine square of x equals to 30 now we want to make our job easier by doing the substitution let me look at this one I am going to call this part as u and likewise this part u as well therefore I'm gonna assume let u equals to 81 power sine square of x so therefore our this equation is going to become u plus 81 divided by u equals to 30 now let me go ahead and remove this fraction by multiplying by u across the board so we are going to a uh, u times u is going to give us uh, u square plus this u and u is gone we got 81 equals to 30 u on the right hand side and now let's go ahead and move everything to the left hand side and put in a descending order and here our equation is going to become u square minus 30 u plus 81 equals to 0 
And now we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by grouping and factoring. And now let's focus on this part of this uh, quadratic equation, negative 30u. Let me go ahead and tweak it. I can write this one as negative 3u minus 27u. And here we can see that u is in common between first two terms and over here negative 27 is common between these last two terms. So therefore we can write u outside u minus 3 and minus 27 is common over here. We can write u minus 3 as well equals to 0. And now we can see u minus 3 and u minus 3 they are in common. So we can factor that u minus 3 outside and we get u minus 27 equal to 0. Let's go ahead and separate them. So I can write u minus 3 equal to 0 and this side is going to be u minus 27 equal to 0. So that means we're going to have u equals to positive 3 and on this side we are going to have u equals to positive 27. But then we know that u equals to 81 power sine square of x. So therefore we can write 81 power sine square of x equals to 3. And now let's focus on this base 81. And we know that 81 could be written as 3 power 4. So therefore I'm going to replace this 81 by 3 power 4. Now let's go ahead and apply this uh, power rule on the left hand side. So this could be written as 3 power 4 sine square of x equals to this 3 could be written as 3 power 1 and now we can see that our bases are same on both sides so therefore we can uh, equate our exponents so therefore we can write 4 sine square of x equals to 1 and now let's go ahead and divide both side by 4 so we are going to get uh, sine square of x equals to 1 over 4 Let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides. So we got sine of x turns out to be positive or negative 1 over 2. And now let's focus on this equation on the right hand side u equals to 27. But we know that u equals to 81 power sine square of x. So therefore we can write 81 power sine square of x equals to 27 and now we know that this 81 power sine square of x could be written as 3 power 4 sine square of x and on the right hand side 27 could be written as 3 power 3 and now we can see that our bases are same on both sides so therefore we can equate the exponents so therefore we can write 4 sine square of x equals to 3. Now let's divide both sides by 4. So therefore we are going to have sine square of x equal to 3 divided by 4. Now let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to undo this square. So we got sine of x equal to positive or negative square root of 3 divided by Two. So therefore we got these values first one is sine of x equals to positive or negative 1 over 2 and the second one is positive or negative square root of 3 divided by 2. And here's our final step we got all these four values of sine of x as we found out in our previous steps. And we know that if sine of x equals to 1 over 2 then we can use a scientific calculators or the trick tables our x value is going to be 30 degrees and if sine of x is negative 1 over 2 then our x value is going to be 210 degrees and likewise in this case is going to be x equals to 60 degrees and finally for this one x equal to 200 
and 40 degrees and if we write them in terms of radians so this is going to be a pi over 6 radians this is going to be a 7 pi over 6 radians this is going to be a pi over 3 radians and finally this is going to be 4 pi over 3 radians and finally if you have any question how to convert from degrees to radians and vice versa i have already uploaded video on this topic please check it out in the description below and here are four solution in terms of degrees and here are our solution in terms of radians thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye